Now, let us look into linear discriminant analysis. So, it is one of dimensionality reduction techniques that is commonly used for supervised classification problems. So, it's able to model differences in groups. So, when we separate two or more classes. So, when it comes to linear discriminant analysis, so it, it projects the features in higher dimension space into lower dimension space. Suppose we have two sets of data that belong to two different classes that you want to classify. As shown in this diagram, when the data points are plotted in the 2D plane, there's actually no line that separates the two classes of the data points completely. So the linear discriminant analysis is used, which reduces the two-dimensional graph into one-dimensional graph. So we want to maximize the separability between these two classes. Now, linear discriminant analysis, it uses both the axes, X and Y, to create a new axis and project the data onto the new axis in a way that will make sure that the separation of the classes is maximized. So it maximizes the separation of the two categories and it reduces the two-dimensional graph into a one-dimensional graph. So it uses two criteria to create this new axis. First, it maximizes the distance between the mean of the two classes and minimizes variation within each class. So, let us look into this new axis, this new axis in red. So this new axis is generated and is plotted in a two-dimensional graph. So we want it to maximize the distance between the mean of the two classes. However, it should minimize the variation within each class. So this newly generated axis will make sure that so this newly generated axis will increase the separation between the data points of the two classes, as we can see from this diagram here. Now let us look into another diagram. So of all possible lines we would like to select. So of all the possible lines, we select the one that will maximize the separability of the classes. So if we can look into these two diagrams, pointer, if we can look into these two diagrams, right? So if we can look first here is that the two classes, they are not well separated when we project them into this line. However, if we can look into the second diagram, we can see that this line has succeeded in separating these two classes. And in that process, it reduced the dimensionality of our, pro of our problem from two features to only one scalar value of y. Pointer. So now, linear discriminant is, of course, different from cluster analysis. So all varieties of discriminant analysis, they require prior knowledge of the classes, usually in the form of a sample from each class. However, in cluster analysis, the data do not come with any information about class membership, so the purpose will be to construct a classification. So that is how linear discriminant analysis is different from cluster analysis.